Okay, this kind of the grid shell, it's uh, a little bit, uh, or maybe it don't look uh, very fancy, but uh, let's uh, try to make a double layer grid shell. So uh, how we can do it? We can use, for example, offset uh, function, and we can uh, offset uh, the basic uh, surface uh, which we have here by some distance and uh, let's uh, create a slider. Um, slider number slider let's make it from minus one to minus f to five changed every 10 uh, so we will see yeah i'll just change the view the second uh, layer of the um, shell has appeared. We can either go uh, beneath of it or on it. So let's stay like that. And let's try to make uh, exactly the same grid shell on the upper uh, shell. Uh, first of all, mm, let's say something more about the polycurve. Polycurve, uh, it's not exactly the solution which we will be looking when we go for the robot uh, structural analysis, because he will want us to create not... Um, he, robot is just reading uh, lines, he's not reading curves. So we have to somehow go and uh, transform these polycurves to the curves and from the curves to the lines. Now, how we do it? Let's uh, type uh, curves. Uh, or maybe polycurve. I don't know why, but uh, the command is called curves. But uh, when I'm typing curves, it's not appearing. Anyway, uh, polycurves, curves, uh, we are connecting to, to this one. And then uh, at the end, we see that we have 168 uh, curves. And this 168 curves, we have, uh, it's the curves in the longitudinal direction, which we want to uh, change for the lines. To do it, we have to find the end point of it and the start point of it. And then uh, we can um, create a um, line, a start and end point. And uh, then we can watch what have we done. Uh, yeah, and we create a, a, a matrix of lines and a list of the list of lines. Uh, this thing, I think it's wise to just uh, create uh, as a new node from selection, and we will call it a uh, curve. Two lines. Let's put it to the analyze uh, category because. Uh, then if I, right now I will want to do it with the transverse beams, I will just uh, type uh, poly uh, curve lines and I will have it. So, yeah. Uh, so I have a bunch of lines and uh, I have the surface. So I think I can just Control C, Control V, the whole thing, and change it, the surface, uh, input surface to the um, surface uh, which was uh, distanced uh, by this slider. So we see that by changing it, we are uh, creating a second layer of the grid shell. How to connect it with each other? So let's uh, try to make a columns between them. I think it's pretty obvious that we have to connect these points to these points by just the line. So let's type line by start and end point. And let's uh, click it 
uh, let's connect it and we see uh, i will just turn off everything i will just leave uh, uh, a little bit too much this one i will uh, show then we see we have a pretty nice uh, structure already without diagonals but diagonals i will show how to do in the separate uh, uh, separate uh, tutorial okay 